I think this is like Richard the I think it is Richard the Third. I always love that play. I loved um I what sealed the deal was uh, Al Pacino doing uh, Looking for Richard. Like to see Pacino doing Shakespeare was just brilliant. That's the thing about like Shakespeare. You can read it, but like to see it done live, that was such a cool documentary. But you know, kind of draw inspiration wherever. But I just like uh, Richard the Third in general because he's uh, like an example of like power can be too much. You know, he can get everything you want and then not be able to handle. I don't know, it keeps me humble to think of stuff like that. Like, because I want a lot, but I don't know, it's just want so that I can create more of that. So I can, like, rule a nation or something. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there's some Richard III going on here. He's looking good. Kind of at the at the end here, I think. So what's this painted on? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody's house. <laughs> oh, my parents um very supportive. <laughs> Will go demolish somebody's house for me. Not really. They they happen to like hear about it. So, and sometimes people bring me stuff. It's kind of cool, but. I just like that idea of like not sending something to the landfill and just just use it and then it's sitting somewhere where somebody appreciates it. Or sells it in a garage sale for fifty cents. <laughs> yeah. Fifty cents is a lot of money. But I don't know, if I find them then I can like buy them for 50 cents and then flip them again. It's all business. <laughs> yeah. I just say that because my friend was just talking about somebody who found their stuff in a garage sale for a dollar. Which, to me, is brilliant. Like if, I, if that happened to me, I'd probably have a good laugh over it. But, I don't know. Artists are so serious sometimes. Ugh. Oh, my legacy. Come on. My birthday balloon's still here. Happy birthday, me. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So I notice you sort of just grab for whatever's round or what seems to be colorful, it appears. Not really. I try to, like, on a really subconscious level. Despite, like, you can, like, show the mess here. Despite this, you know, it is chaotic, but I guess there's a reason I have so many materials, because, like, if I think pink, it's like, oh, that one's pink. It's pink enough. Um, but I guess it is like that for me. Like, there's an urgency when I'm going. Like, I don't want to stop and think and meditate. I do sometimes, but a lot of times... I think like art should be constant, or it needs to be for me. I want it to be constant. So if I stop there and like dawdle too much, um, I don't know. It hurts it. I think. But I think sometimes I feel completely awkward when. Um, I don't know. Just in one of those flowy moods today. We're actually taking a break from the uh, the live Fro Friday. <laughs> oh, but yeah, it needed some time to dry. I laid it on too thick, I think. Not too thick, but it's like, you know, if I keep painting, it'll get sloppy. <laughs> yeah. Or it won't be what I want it to be. How is that? Understandable. So is it perfection or is it just to where you feel like 
it has to be a certain way. Strangely, I mean, it looks like a child painted most of my stuff, but um, and it did to a degree. So a lot of people would argue that I have not grown up, um, and that's fine. But um, it is. I obsess over a piece up until the very end, like every little mark, every little like this is coming together, but it still needs. I still want some more things. Like each little scratch is something. Each, it's just a. To me, it's like consciousness. Um, which is different than when you go for something a little more real. Um, which I don't do too often. Because it came from photography where everything was real and pristine. So. Yeah, I always shot like things that were falling apart, so it makes sense that I'm painting on houses now. <laughs> it makes sense that I would take up those scraps that I saw as a child and make something out of them. Hopefully that's pleasing. Well, I don't know. It either is or isn't. They're pleasing to me. There's people that like them, so I'm appreciative. Somebody else thinks so too. But, but I think there's like perfection, like within imper within imperfection. I think um, I think that's very possible. And I guess that's what I'm trying to embrace all of this time. It's like like every little. little part of it. It's the reason I don't I don't sign the fronts of mine because like all of this is a part of it so if I put my big sloppy name on it. Not sloppy but it's like I just don't want my name covering up what I did. It seemed vain. Which is an odd thing for me to say but <laughs> I'm all about me. But um not kind of that's kind of that's kind of one of those things where it's like oh he's joking but there's like an edge of seriousness. <laughs> and so I'm just self aware I think I know what I am and am not and that sometimes is called vanity maybe I could be wrong I could know nothing that's what Plato said I know nothing